Ciao bedazzi, welcome to Bali the Hub. If you're into wrestling, you probably know what I'm gonna talk about. If you're not into wrestling, stay on to listen to the story of Dan O'Homani, the Irish Whip. Dano Homani was born here in Bali de Hop, County Cork in 1912. He grew up here and he used to work in the family farm and other farms around the area, at least until he enrolled in the National Army. Dano was brought to the US in 1934 by Paul Bowser. Paul Bowser was a wrestling promoter in the US and he was looking for the next Irish star. The Irish community in the US was growing by the day, so Bowser came to Ireland to look for the right person to become a wrestling champion. No way Bowser was right. He picked the right guy. Dano's first fight wasn't exactly successful. He actually lost against Ed the Strangler Lewis, but the crowd was very, very happy with how he performed. And from that moment on, he went on and won 49 fights in a row. Dano's successful streak made him one of the biggest superstars worldwide. So the time was right, he earned his first title shot against Jim Landis. Just think about it, a young Irish guy in Boston, in Fenway Park, fighting for the world title after just one year of becoming a professional wrestler. That must have been a dream. And you know what happened? Dano won. It was the first Irish world heavyweight champion. also went on and successfully defended his title against Chief Little Wolf, another superstar at the time, in the Yankee Stadium. So he was making stadiums, it was massive crowds, big events. The crowds were very happy to see the Irish Whip in action. However, as usual, after a peak, there's always a slowdown. And Dano's popularity started going down little by little, also because it was kind of double-crossed by some other promoters. Dano went on fighting for a couple of years, but it was more for the other fighters to, you know, pick up his name and, and get more money, basically, out of the fights. So he decided to move to Los Angeles, open a restaurant, and continue fight locally whenever he had time. He didn't really have a lot of time to enjoy his restaurant. World War II had started, he enlisted in the US Army and left for Europe. But he came back. But then when life gets in the way, there's very little we can do. Just think about it. Hemenwe traveled to the other side of the world to become the world heavyweight wrestling champion. Opened a restaurant, was very successful went to war, came back from war, the minute it decides to get back home and relocate to Ireland permanently in 1950, he goes and tragically dies in a car accident just five weeks after his return to Ireland. Dan O'Money is still very well remembered up to these days because of the huge contribution that he gave to the wrestling world, but also for the great contribution that he gave to the Irish community in the US.